Hi, I'm Rick, and today we're going to talk about configuring the RTAC for remote engineering access in a way that the RTAC will automatically connect you to the relay that you want to configure without using legacy commands. So in this project, you can see that I've already got my three SEL relays configured. And I'm going to, as discussed earlier in the other video, insert an access point that allow me for the remote access. I'm going to select Ethernet incoming, press enter. Uh, I'm going to make it an SSH connection. You can use Telnet and port 1024. Now the difference is I'm going to also create an access point for each relay that I'm configuring. So I've got three total access points. Now I'm going to open an access point router. My incoming access point will be the first access point that I created. And then I want to connect to the first relay. So I just select first relay and press insert. Then I go to the POU pin settings and there's a pin called auto connect. I want to set the default value to true. So I set that to true. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to connect to the RTAC and as soon as I connect, because that auto connect is true, it'll automatically connect me to that first relay. Then I do the same thing for the other two access point routers. Click on the access point router, insert, I create the the access point router by selecting my source as the incoming access point number two. I select relay number two as the destination and press insert. And I do the same thing on that access point router. I click on access point router, POU pin settings, set the auto connect to true. And then I do the same thing for the third one and as many relays as you have. And that way you don't have to do the, the legacy port commands. As soon as you connect to the RTAC, the RTAC will automatically connect you to the relay. There's no source authentication like we did before, but that's okay if this is the way that you want to do it because you can log into the relay and use the relay's authentication. And that's pretty much it. And if you have any more questions, you can refer to the instruction manual, the 5033 instruction manual, or give us a call here at SEL. Thanks.